Beautiful. Uh, Sebastian, uh, I would like to walk, talk about Allerseelen. Is that okay? Can you tell me, can you tell me where is... Um, let me ask you a couple of questions. Uh, you have to know when, when, when I encounter someone... I, I just met Sebastian three minutes ago downstairs. I don't know anything about Sebastian other than the fact that he is at the atelier here in Montreal, and so I don't know anything about him and how he talks and what his vocabulary is and stuff like that. So we have to talk a little bit. Um, can you tell me, Sebastian, where is this song happening? Do you, do you have, have you thought about it in that way? Is, is there a setting for the song? Like, for example, are you in a deli? Uh, are, are, you, so are, you, are you making breakfast? Are you, what are you doing? I mean, what, what, what's going on right now? For me, it's happening in, the, in my house. In uh, your house? In, um, and it's one of these confrontations that I think that I've had. Well, confrontations. It's one of these encounters that I've had with my loved one and I'm I see the song in three sections 
two is in memories uh, of different times, and then the, the last verse being in the present, like actually talking, why well, can't this happen now like it used to? Okay, do you understand? Uh, th that's an interesting observation because you, you understand what Alder mm -hmm. is yeah, about? Absolutely. Yeah, because the person is dead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's unmistakable. That's not, that's not something that's debatable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the person that you're singing about is not here, is, is dead. So when you say a confrontation, you mean in your mind? I mean, like, yeah, this encounter in, in my home with, you know, this imaginative... Okay, so, it's, so it, it's basically happening in your mind. Yes, yes. Okay, now, I have to tell you that at the beginning of the song, you looked angry. Oh. You, did you mean to look angry? No. Okay, how, how would you... Because for me, that set, when, when Rich started playing, you, you had an angry look on your face, okay. and I thought, from the beginning, I thought, what is this song going to be about today? Because I didn't, I have never thought of this song as angry. Mm -mm. I can think of the song as frustrated. I can think of the song as a lot of yeah. different words, but not angry. I think that's what I was going for, but it went a little too. Okay, yeah. So okay, so okay, so we're good about that. Um, let's let's start one more time, and and sure. and we'll stop a little bit. I can tell you that one thing that I'm going to ask of you. Um, and for those of you who are going to sing and play, you can understand this. Um, Sometimes technical matters have to be addressed, not because of technical matters. Technique is there for one reason. And I, when I say technique, I, mean, I don't mean only singing technique. I mean the technique of your interpretation, the technique of all different kinds of things, the technique of how you are playing, the technique of how you are listening, blah, blah, blah. All those technical matters are there for one thing. They are there to serve your expression. That is the only reason to have a technique, is to serve your expression. There's no reason for any kind of technical display, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Okay. One of the techniques that you have to get onto here is the fact that Strauss knew all kinds of music. He knew Haydn. He knew Beethoven's music. He knew Mozart's music. He knew Mahler's music. He knew, you know, he knew Liszt's music. He knew all of this music, and in a certain way, Strauss's songs are the, com are the, are the, the sum total of all of that songwriting. They contain everything from everybody. And so, there are places where you have to be careful that you sing cleanly like Mozart, <laughs> and some places where you have to, you know, allow yourself a little portamento, for example. When you sing, you cannot, for example, go, No. You have to pitch the phrase for the, for the fa, and sing, Yeah? cannot look up, okay? So let's, let's do one more time, yeah? yeah see what happens. Sure. Rich, that was a very beautiful introduction. Let's, uh, let's see what goes on. Now, put yourself in the position and, and, and hear the music and show us the music in your face, okay? Great, great. Okay, so um, let's see. Still have to see. Und lass uns wieder. Can we look at that phrase one time? Yeah, sure. Are you onto the idea, or for example, Chelsea, are you, have you ever been approached with the idea that every vowel is in every vowel? Every vowel is in every vowel. For example, know that what you are making, you are making all the sounds, and your brain is making one of them. But they are all there. So when you say, 
Und lass uns wie. You see, the E is there. You don't have to make uns wie like that and make a separate thing. Und lass uns wieder handeln. Yeah. I'm sorry when I sing, it's too loud, but I'm, they, they make me wear this microphone, so I'm all right. <laughs> Can we do, oh let's do, let's do, uh, let's do from Stelle auf den Tisch. Can you do the top of the phrase, Rich, where you da da from the, from the La, the La Solfa, yeah. Good. That's the first climax of the piece. Don't go past it. You're playing up to it. Don't go past it. Enjoy the fa. <laughs> Can we do the Einstein Mai, the last one? The Einstein. Come on, play. sing into it. Give him something. Okay. Here we go. Do one more time. Say all the sounds. Don't be bashful. Say all the sounds. Say them all the, all the way to the back row to that lady back there that I'm pointing at. See, she is smiling. Look at that nice face. Look at that. Here we go. Give me the hunt. You understand? It's an interesting thing for me that this song is beginning with verbs. Still off the tisch die du von Gib mir die Hand. And then the, the third verse is, Ein Tag im Mai ist ja den Toten frei. You see, that's, the third, that's why the third verse has that feeling. This one is still, Gib mir die Hand, dass ich sie heimlich drücke. Here we go, let's see. Can we do it? Can we do from your, from your Fa? Fa, re, la. That was beautiful the way you played to that. That was nice now. That was really good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then make a better tea in that case. Let's see what that. Und wenn man sieht, mir ist das einerlei. Okay? One more time. That doesn't go anywhere in the auditorium. Mir ist es einerlei. Gib mir nur einen. Keinen süßen Begriff. Right. 
Okay? Okay. One more time, Rich, we're going to be great. And Rich, hand him the verse. You, you are beautiful, but you have to use our page to go up and hand him deep near the height. Yeah? Stay in your vowel line and go right through that into the word. Don't make a new vowel line. Don't pull back. Stay there and go. Softly. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Say it right. <laughs> Let's do that verse one more time. One more time. That's a good reason to be wrong. That's great, okay? <laughs> Excellent, because you, he, he got you, okay? <laughs> um, let's see. Do one time, the, the bar before the bar that ends with the lot? Yeah. Before it's <coughs> yeah. 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 Take your breath and you're holding for a second, yeah. and that is fatal. And that's it. Yeah. You cannot do that. Stay on. You see, you have to breathe and sing. You cannot breathe and hold your breath and sing. You have to breathe and sing. Breathe and sing. That's all it is. It sounds very simple. <laughs> it is bitchy. It's bitchy. Okay? But I would suggest that you, yep. you can use his music to find your rhythm. That you, that you, that when he plays, do, do me that one time, watch what I'm doing. Yeah, we 
Give him the feeling of motion when he is, it's not that you have to go faster, but you have to give him the feeling of moving like that, not that he is there by himself on his own notes. Like, I'm talking, ya, but he's in ya, like that. Yar, he's jumping to fry. Like that, okay? Yeah. Here we go. Same place one more time. That was a really good breath. Did you yeah, get it? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's do it one more time. Just, <clears throat> it's another interesting lesson for you. When you do something well, Joseph, that is the time to repeat it. <laughs> Always we are, we are, we, we make a mistake in the lesson and somebody says, no, try that again. Then you try it again. And you make the mistake again. Or you make another mistake. Try it again, try it again. And then you do it right and just go ahead. No, no, stop. In that moment, stop. Do it again. So that you, so that you get, you acquire habits Good habits by repeating good habits. You understand? It's, it's really important. So let's let's do it one more time. Let's see what that feels like again and do it. about the screaming silence. And the other party talks about the silent screaming. And you know, this is like what that is. <laughs> it's, it's silence is yelling. <clears throat> and you, you see? And Rich, I can tell you, when you come to the chord, the magic chord, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's the one. Play generously play generously you play the six four chord the e flat six four and it's it's just a stupid six four chord the next chord is like magic music and you just have to just from the bottom to the top play beautifully melody beautiful arpeggio take your time no one is going to leave they are not in that moment they're not they may leave when you finish but they're not going to leave in that moment so take your time okay so take your time okay here we go one more time this first yeah okay.
go to. I don't know if anyone has ever asked me to do this or not. Can you make, can you link the notes? Yeah. Yeah. Link, yeah. But, but pay attention, link the notes with the diphthong. Yeah. You know what I mean, with the diphthong. Mm -hmm. But I, I want you to go, See, I'm making the portamento down, the little port German portamento, on the diphthong. You have to say a e. So you say my. Yeah. Yeah. You all play me one time the little the little uh, distinction between you know the the interlude between the. You know, Rich, you gotta play me both of the voices. Sorry, which one? Right? You see it? That's the one. Now play that one time, now be beautiful and play that one. Yeah. end of the piece is beginning already from the low E flat. Mm -hmm. And then you, you have the chord. Don't change the chord. You have the chord. Now you are just going to dress up the chord with the D flat and the F flat. So just stay there. Don't make a new thing. Just keep playing beautifully. And see what happens. That was beautiful. You feel how that feels? Uh, yeah. Were you out of breath? No, no, no. Okay. You have to sing a little bit more at the bottom. Yeah. You can. In, sure. in my. Sure. Okay. Let's do it one more time. And Rich, caress the D flat. Don't, mm, don't give that. Be nice, okay? your foot, keep your foot, now feather it out. Good. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rick. Thank you.